Hey everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to walk you through how to code a light level reader um, using Microsoft Make Code and the Microbit. So we're not gonna go through too much in terms of how to get to the site. You can watch our previous videos for that. But if you open up any browser and just type in the word makecode.com, and we'll just do that just so you can see here, makecode.com, then hit enter it will take you to this free open source website where you can code not only the micro bit, but several applications. But just for the sake of today, we are going to worry about just coding our light level reader. So if you click on the um, far left where it has the picture of the micro bit, you can either click the start coding with micro bit or the pink picture. If you click on that, it'll auto populate and take you to an option to create a new project. There are um, a sequence of tutorials that you can follow below if you're really looking just to get started with the micro bit and try some sample task after um, working with us and your students. But on the far left, you will see this option under the My Projects tab for a new project with a purple edition icon. Simply click that and it should auto populate to now create a project name. You can really call this anything you want. I'm just going to type in light level test and then whenever you're ready, you'll see a little green create button just below and just hit that green create button. That will then take you to the Microsoft Make Code environment. And by this point, we're probably um, used to using some of the platforms here. So what we're gonna do is just start by deleting the blocks we don't need. So you have a forever block. Can you click and drag that over top of the drawers? And when you do that, you will see this little garbage can icon appear, simply let go, and that's how you delete a block. Now we are going to leave our on start block um, because we're gonna need that to start our program. So when we turn on our program, what we wanna do is basically show that we have something working. So we are going to click on our blue basic drawer and click and scroll down the third option until you see these show icon with a heart. So I'll zoom in, show icon with a heart. And if you click and drag that, you should be able to snap it inside of the on start block. So this means as soon as you start your program, you should see a picture of a heart. Now, because we're looking to track data in the form of light, anytime we're looking to track or store any type of data and code, we need to use the red variables drawer. So can you click on the red variables drawer and at the very top, there's this little option to make a variable. So if you click the make a variable option, and we are going to just call this, you could name this in theory anything, but we're just gonna type in the word reading. And then once you hit the green okay button again, you will see that you have now a couple different options of what you're looking to do. And at the very top, we are going to use the set reading to zero block. So click and drag the set reading to zero underneath the show icon heart. Now, once you've done that, we are going to change this to, instead of set reading to zero, we are going to set the reading to show us the light level. So how you do that is click on your input drawer, the fuchsia colored input drawer. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that there's an option for light level and it's a little circular block. It's right in between compass heading and pin when pin is pressed. And if you click this light level, you wanna place this over top of the zero and approach slowly from the left where you'll see this little line and that will allow you to drop it over top. So now anytime we're storing data, it's gonna be in the form of light level. And then the last thing we're gonna just do here is we're just going to put in a pause block. So click on your blue basic drawer and scroll down to pause brackets milliseconds 100 and just simply insert that below the set reading. And this is just, and everything we're doing here is just to set up that we know our program will be working when we turn on our micro bit. Now, now we want it that we want to be able to detect and set a reading. So in order to do that, we're gonna click on our input drawer again. And at the very top, you'll see the on button A pressed block. So we're gonna click that block and keep it somewhere separate. So it will work, um, but you just need it somewhere separate because uh, these are independent events of one another. Now, we're gonna do a lot of the same blocks we've already used. So click on your red variable drawer 
and grab the set reading to zero block. And you can place that inside of the on button A pressed, meaning when we press A button on our micro bit, we're gonna set the reading again. But just as we did earlier with the light level, we're gonna duplicate that process. So to do that, click on your input drawer, scroll down again until you find light level, and then click that light level and drag it over top of the zero as you have already done. Now we want to actually get students to see a, like a pictorial representation of what they have in terms of light level. So click on your LED purple drawer and you will see at the very bottom this option for plot bar graph of zero up to zero. If you take that and place it underneath of the set reading and then instead of this zero, you can grab a nether light level block and place it over top. So there's two ways you can do this. We could go into the input drawer and do this again, or you can click on the light level block and hit two finger tap or right click, um, depending on what you're using. And you will see this option for duplicate, meaning you can simply duplicate this block, which will save time and is really good in terms of the curriculum for coding efficiency and we just place that now over this first zero. So place a bar graph of light level, and just so you know, the micro bit measures light level, you can probably see in this simulator, from zero, meaning total darkness, to 255 as max, which means utmost brightness. So we want it to register up to 255, okay? And then the very last step is we're just gonna duplicate this pause block that we did earlier above by two finger clicking on this and duplicating it and then moving it underneath. So now just so you can see like if we hit this play button on our simulator, you should, if I stop it and then hit play, which is just below, you should see that the um, first a heart comes up to let us know, yep, the program works. And then when we hit this virtual A button on our simulator, we should see that depending on where light level is here, let me turn up light level a little bit. So I'll turn it up and then hit A. And look at these lights are telling me it's almost at max capacity. And then we're gonna now code to actually give us a value. But if I change this again to make light level less and hit A, you'll see that the graph gives me a visual representation of how much light level is being shined through the micro bits, if that makes sense, okay. So last part, how do we get an actual reading from this? Let's click on our input drawer again and drag on button A pressed over here. Keep it separate again, doesn't really matter where you put it. Notice that there's a little drop down arrow next to the A, so click the drop down arrow and change this to B. And then what we're just going to do is we are going to clear the screen so that whatever is like lingering gets kind of dissipated. So click on your blue basic drawer and scroll down um, until you see the clear screen option and place that inside. And now we wanna give it a quantifiable value. We want students when they see that graph to know, okay, but what does that mean in terms of a number? So anytime in code we wanna see a number, we have to teach the computer to show us that. So in order to do so, we click on our blue basic drawer. At the very top, you'll see the show number zero option and you'll click and drag that underneath clear screen. Now, we don't want it to show number zero, we want it to show the number of the variable that we're tracking. So to do that, we're obviously gonna go to the red variable drawer, and where we had that your variables, that circle reading variable, we're gonna place over top of the zero, so that it'll always show us what we're actually reading, because remember, light level is set to reading. So we're gonna click this, and drag it over top of that zero, okay? And then the very last step is just to click, um, actually just get another pause block. So we can actually just click on it, two finger tap again, or simply like right click, and you can duplicate this block and just add it to here. So now here's in totality how the program runs. So if you hit the play button, you'll see that we have a heart, and then when we, like let's say we change the light level, students are gonna test it. Um, they're gonna hit the A button to lock in a reading of light level. This will tell them the level. And in order for them to get a quantifiable value, they have to hit the B button on the micro bit. And when they hit the B button, 
203, which is articulated here in the simulator, but students wouldn't have that option. And then students will be able to track their data um, in a variety of locations. Potentially they can do mean, median, and mode, max and min values, going around to different areas of the school and tracking where readings are most uh, dark as well as most bright. We hope this video is helpful um, and, we're, and we can't wait to see what your students create.